Hey guys, what's up? It's Lost Gecko here with a brand new video. Today we're going to be uh, starting a new series. It's going to be a, um, a Let's Play Minecraft slash uh, survival guide. So without further ado, let's get started. So first I'll sh sort of show you how to move. You press W to go forward. Let's go backwards. Don't press W and can sprint. Uh, press A to strafe left and right and D to strafe right and space to jump and, and hold down the shift button. You'll crouch and won't, you'll move slower, but you won't go over any sort of... Uh, drops so that's pretty cool but um the first thing you need to do is actually uh, go and grab some wood so to do that we're just gonna head up to a tree and we're just going to uh, hold down our left mouse button and that is going to give us some oak wood logs so just punt the system um, sort of take down any tree you like and I will have this world up for download so you can uh, follow along right with me so the link will be in the description but anyways so just find a tree and uh, sort of just like Chop it down, I guess, with your fists. I don't really know how that would work in real life, but anyway, just get some wood. Uh, I've I got I already punched the tree off camera because I forgot to hit the record button, and let's see, just to make sure, am I recording? Yeah, okay, yes, I am. Okay, we're good. So, uh, we have this uh, this oak wood, and what we want to do is actually create some oak wood planks. So there are two ways to craft. You can press this green book, and it'll bring up this cool little crafting menu. I actually kind of like this, but it doesn't show everything, so. I don't know, but I'm more old school, so I prefer to use this. So we're just going to um, left click on your, well, I'm sorry, I'll press E to go into your inventory. Left click on this oak wood, and then you're going to right click over here, and I'll give you four. And I could put a whole stack in, but I don't really want to do that. So we're going to use four oak wood planks to make a crafting table. And then we can go anywhere we like, look at the ground, and so you get this little box. Press down the right mouse button, and that will give you your crafting table on the ground. So if we right click that again, we bring up this cool bigger crafting menu, and with that we're going to make some tools. So we're going to put in just a few um, oak wood logs, hold down shift, and then left click this and it will bring you your full stack. Now I want to make some sticks, so I'm going to make 8 sticks, just like that, and let's make a pickaxe. So we're going to put 2 sticks, one on top of the other, and then 3 across, so it's like sort of making like a T or something. So that's how you make your pickaxe. I also want to make a sword, so it's just one stick and then two oak wood planks on top of that, and they'll give us a wooden sword. And let's see, another two sticks, and then wooden planks go like this, and you make an axe. So that's going to be our basic tools for now, and we're going to use that just to get a little bit more wood and some resources. So, anyways, just come up to any tree, and with your axe in hand, start uh, chopping down that tree, and you'll notice that. It goes by a lot faster now because you're actually using the tool. So that's a pretty cool um, little thing you need to know is that you need to like if you're use the right tool for the job. Like if you're mining stone, don't use an axe or your fist. Use pickaxe. And that is the sun, and that's how I keep our tra track of our time. It looks like it's almost about midday. And once that sun goes down, it's gonna get dark, and then monsters are going to come out, and they're going to try and kill us. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to get some more resources so we can build a nice little house. Now I did see that we got some coal up here. And this would be a great place to start a star for our base. So we're going to just map this coal with our pickaxe and just hold down the left mouse button. And we can get this lovely coal which is going to be used as a, as a furnace fuel. And also for uh, making torches which are going to come in handy. Because monsters will spawn anywhere that is dark. So when the sun goes down, it's dark. In caves, they'll, they'll also spawn even if it's daytime outside. As long as it's dark, monsters will spawn. So we're just going to map this coal. Because that's a, coal is a really good resource, especially at the start of the game. So we're just going to just t take care of this whole entire vein of coal. And it looks like we're almost done. It's quite a big one, actually. And as you can see, as we mine, our pickaxe is uh, sort of degrading in its durability. And once that goes down all the way, then our pickaxe will be destroyed. And that is uh, not good, because you have to make a new one. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm actually going to turn on my shaders and see how this looks. Let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, that looks amazing. Alright, so... Now that we have that, we're going to go and find some sheep so we can maybe possibly have a bed on the first night. Also, we need to kill some animals so we can get some more food. And that is another coal mine. We'll come back to that. 
And here's a pig, and we can use this pig for food. So, you know, let's just come up to him with a sword in hand and just hit him. Don't spam it, otherwise it will, um, sort of not do as much damage. About three hits seems to do the trick. Well, that's four. I don't know what's up with that. But, anyways, I'm actually going to decrease his shares because it's a little bright. So I'm going to turn him off. And yes, I am using an Optify mod. That's the only mod I'm using. So, let's see, we got some pig meat and pork. And it looks like there are sheep over there. So, if we uh, kill enough sheep, we can get three pieces of wool. And with that three pieces of wool, we can make a bed. Now, beds, they will, what they will do is allow us to make a, well, sort of, um, well, their bed. And it will allow you to skip the night if you sleep in the bed. And also, your bed will act as your spawn point if you, so long as you, you slept in it at least once. All right, so now we have some... So those are sheep, and as you can see, as we kill each one, they, both, they each gave us one piece of white wool and some raw mutton. So that's going to come in handy. So now let's go over back to where we were and start working on our house. So it's going to sort of just come over here. And while you're in water, if you just hold the space bar, you will stay above the surface. So we're going to just make our house somewhere around here. We're actually not going to build a house, we're actually going to sort of... Uh, destroy a little bit of land and that will be our home so let's see this place is a place i want to do it at or actually better yet this is actually a little cave so that might be actually better so what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of dig out a little sort of um cave i guess and that is where we're going to put our house we're just going to like just dig out just a little room in here it doesn't matter how big it is, how small it is, as long as you have no space for like your bed, your furnace, and your um, crafting table. And the furnace is used to cook things, I'll explain how. I'll explain more about that a little bit later. So it doesn't really matter how big it is, like really I think that if I just make it one block deeper to my left, then that should be big enough for our needs. So we're just going to slowly just cut away at this uh, mountain surface thing. And looks like we are almost done. And there we go. All right, so that's actually it's a little bit dark in here. So I want to make some torches. So what we're going to do is we're going to, going to take one stick and one piece of coal, put them on top of it, and then we can get our torch. So these are torches, and what they do is if you, if you place them, they will be a light source. So we're going to place these there, and maybe just a few around our house so that we can make it a little bit more obvious if we're lost at night. So we'll just see the torches and. That is how we'll know that that is our home. Looks like the sun is starting to go down and there's a pig up there. I actually want to go and get that pig because, um, food. It's always good to have as much food as you can. Because if, that, if you don't have food, you'll starve. And starving isn't really fun. Because, you, it, like, if you get to a point where that hunger bar is completely empty, you'll lose your health until you're at half of a uh, sort of heart. And that is a very vulnerable state. That's like one, one hit from anything or just one bad fall. And you are done. So, anyways, we're going to go to our house and we're going to place our crafting table. And with the crafting table, we're going to take our cobblestone and we can just hold down the right mouse button and just sort of drag it in like a square thing with a hollow or well, with a middle not taken up by anything. And that'll make us a furnace. Now, furnaces are used for cooking things, so that's what we're going to use it for. So, we just place the furnace down right there. Doesn't matter where you put it. Actually, I think I might put it on top of the crafting table just for efficiency. And because this furnace is made of stone, then you use a pickaxe to mine it. I'm just going to put my uh, torch right there. So now we can put, I'm going to put eight coal. And now if you, um, actually, if you have a stack of something and you right click on it like that, it'll split it in half. So we're going to put the coal in the bottom of that because that's our fuel. And let's see, how about we cook our raw pork chop? Okay, there we go. So now we're going to make a door so we can have a uh, sort of, well, you know, we don't want monsters just walking in here, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to um, make a door by gaining enough. We're going to need six wood, so that's going to take six of this um, stack. And we're just going to sort of make it in this pattern. Now, it doesn't matter. We can also have it like this, too. So either way, it works fine. And also, you can craft using this thing, too. So... That's another thing you can use, you can see it's kind of organized. So, oak door, and just like that, we now have a oak door. Looks like I didn't craft some 
So there. Now we have a nice oak door to um, sort of close off our home with. We're just gonna place that down from the outside so it's like that. If we place it down from the inside, I'm gonna show you what would happen. It would end up like that. Now one little hack we can use is we're gonna place it down sideways. And by doing that, if it's zombies can kick down your door, but they can't, well they won't if it's in the open position. So I'm just gonna place it down like that. Oops. And right now, the zombies, they think that this door is um, closed, so like they're not going they're going to like they'll only attack your door if it's uh op if it's open or closed, sorry. So when it's like this, if we place it sideways, the zombies they think that the door is close is already open, so they're not going to try and kick it down, but they can't get through. So if they they can attack it when it's like this, but that was the point, they can swap right in. So if we place it sideways like that, then they will not try and kick down our door. So that's just a little Minecraft uh, sort of hack there. Alright, so we're going to make um let's see. I wanna make some chests now. So we're going to when it gets a little bit more oak planks, and this is how we're gonna store our stuff. So we're just going to arrange these um oak planks in a circle like that. And I actually want to make two chests. So it's just gonna be two like a furnace craft just like a furnace, but instead of cobblestone, you use oak wood. I'm just gonna put our chest right there. Looks like our our uh, pork shop is done. Cooking looks it looks delicious. So now we're gonna put on raw mutton, and we can sort of snack on this. So to eat food, all you gotta do is have it in your hand, and you can just hold down the right the right mouse button, and there you go. All right, so now I wanna make a bed. So we're gonna need one more piece of uh we're gonna need of oak wood planks, and unfortunately we can only craft like they will only let us craft four or more. So but whatever. So just gonna place down these just like that, and then we're gonna place our three wool, and that'll make us a white bed. We make beds of all different colors. Back in the day, though, you can only make red ones. So uh, that's just kind of cool. And fun fact, you can actually jump on, you can actually bounce on the beds. We can't because it's sort of um, it's kind of well, we don't have enough headroom. But anyways, so we're just gonna sleep there, and that is how you survive your very first night in Minecraft. So I, I do really hope that you guys found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel for a new video just like this every single day of the week. I plan on making this a uh, whole big series, so we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I can't wait. But anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys all had an, um, are having an amazing day. And with that said... Bye bye. Hey guys, just one thing I forgot to add at the end of the video is I like to take this time to give a quick thank you to um, a few of my new subscribers: uh, Aricom, RTH, Resumption, Berserk, Twenty Twenty One, and Brayden Borgen. Uh, I would also like to give a massive thank you to uh, Jared Kimball, aka Steep Stellar, for making my amazing channel art and a lot of the uh, sort of art you see on my videos, including this uh, end screen you're looking at right now. But I'll have links to all those channels in my description of this video, so please go and check those guys out. They are absolutely amazing each and every one of them. And with that said, I'll see you all later in the next video. Bye-bye.